And so the filming of the last bloke on planet Earth has gotten underway with a crack. Mabel and I's assistant, Georgia C, has made it over from London, and a quiet but charming hairstylist and driver for John Goliath, Victor Lumen, has graced us with his presence. I feel as the story unfolds about a man who believes he has been left alone on the planet. We are discovering what truly does go through a man's mind when all devices, interaction, humanity, love, sex, have vanished. Taken away with no explanation, no cause. What happens when all you have left is an empty teacup, a diary, and your mind? Right? Can you see? And then we do this and I am just visiting family. Oh wait, nice. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Make it out. Yeah. You're all right, Joe. Yes. Good. 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 Or we might bring up the steps. There were many days, many days long ago, before Santa Claus painted his suit red, before the whimsy of childhood fantasies engulfed my black mind, before I was given a ticket to take a strange trip around the sun. Thank you, Mother, for leaving me all alone. Nowhere to go, no one to see, except God. Your memories become your security blanket and your enemy all at once, torturing you with a life once lived that is gone, yet giving you hope that you'll make more memories. But realizing the sick truth is the only future ahead of you is with yourself. But is it? How does this man know, without doubt, without absolute question, that he is all alone? Well, he doesn't, does he? Will he believe in the power of his own insanity to carry him through to quest? It's all odds for a breadcrumb of hope. Will he succumb to his own madness and wither into the forest floor, letting the animals carry on the cycle of life without him? Take a moment of prayer. And all is forgiven. Cut.